Here are the tests on my 1963 Chicago Potteries toilet. I have it set to the water level in the tank and I have it using a generic flapper. So let's give it a flush and see how it does. It has a very awesome flush, but I think they could have put that water level about an inch lower and it would have done the same job. So let's test a washcloth to begin with. Honestly, there's no way it isn't going to pass this. So I'll be right back when the tank is full. And one other thing about setting the water level lower. It looks like that's what the previous people actually did. It looks like it stopped about where it is at now. So honestly, I don't even think it needs to go all the way up to the line. Let's see if it can take a washcloth just a little below the line. Did perfectly, as expected. Now let's try a grocery bag. I will be surprised and at the same time disappointed if it does not pass this. So once again, I will be right back when the tank is full. That should be good. So. Let's see if it'll take a bag. I'm not sure if that was perfect or awesome, but it did well, that's for sure. So now let's try them both together. So once again, I'll be right back when the tank is full. For a while I was actually thinking of throwing away this tank because I don't have a lid for it but I'm glad I didn't because now I can get to do the tests and they will be accurate because I guarantee that if I set it on a different tank I would have put the water level lower due to the flush. So let's see how it does on a washcloth and a grocery bag. I'm guessing it'll clog. Well, it got further than I thought. It wasn't really very stuck either. So I'm gonna add some water to the bowl and I'm gonna try that again. I think this toilet has the ability to take that. Even though it looks like sort of a cheap toilet, I think it's pretty good. So once again, I will be back when the tank is full, and let's give this a second try. 
Not sure how it'll do this time. I think probably about the same as last time. Or if I'm lucky, it'll pass. It sure fills the bowl up a lot. I guess that's thanks to the long flush. So I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, but once the tank fills a little bit more, I'll flush it again. I think that's good. Looks like it's not moving. It actually did worse the second time. So now let's try a dish towel. I think it'll definitely pass this. Honestly, now that I think about it, if you look at how thin this is getting, I think I'm probably gonna need a new dish towel pretty soon. So this is gonna be one of the last videos where I use this one. But anyway, I'll be right back when the tank is full. Another annoying thing about this dish towel being thin is that it tends to stick to itself and makes it harder to lay flat. So let's see how it does on a dish towel. Did perfectly. It looks like it got stopped up there in the opening, but that's just because this takes a long time to siphon. But it did not seem to affect the flush at all, so I'm going to call that a perfect pass. So now let's add some water to the bowl and then try dirt. Looks like there's still some water coming out of the rim. I'm sort of skeptical about the bull rinse on this, but I'm guessing it's going to do pretty well getting it out. So I'll be right back when the tank is full. So this is where the extra inch of water comes in handy. Well, it looks like it cleared it perfectly from the bowl, except that this decided to rain down at the very end. So, yeah, the bull rinse could use a little improvement in those spots. Looks like it did pretty well elsewhere, but just those two spots, I guess. I'll check for mineral buildup, and if it's caused by mineral buildup, I'll put that in the description. But I'm not going to call this a perfect pass. It was very good. So, that's about it for this video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.